here today is a showdown Apple Touch second generation versus the iPhone 4 place your vest now people because we're gonna get started first up we're gonna start with the internet uh, just to show you guys real quick though I'm gonna I'm actually gonna aim the camera this way I'm gonna put it towards the iPhone 2G while I uh, I'm gonna just go this way real quick I don't want you guys to see my Wi-Fi network So I'm actually just going to scroll past it so you guys can't see it. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, guys, both devices are running iOS 4. So I'm just going to clear cookies, click cache on both devices. And we can quit both any multitasking apps. Let me see. Sorry, guys. If you know from previous videos, this is a water damage app I touch, so it does not react very well. Okay. We're going to quit a lot of apps on this. Well, you can see a lot of apps running. Okay. So, let's get this started. We're going to go to the internet on both devices. I'm just going to open up. Let's see. Let's open up. Google on both websites and if you guys know my speed comparisons I do often start with the solar device and give that a head advantage so and you can see even though this had a head advantage even though the iPod touch had a head advantage the iPhone 4 still prevails let's try it again it's not it doesn't look like it's as much of a difference as the iPhone 4 let's see Yahoo you can see Yahoo's done on this now it's done on, yeah, it's done on this. It's almost done, guys. Right now you can see the huge difference between the Retina display and uh, my iPod Touch. Um, of course, my iPod Touch, guys, does have a flat finish screen protector, which does take away from the color a little bit. But uh, I've have taken it off recently, and it's still not that good. Um, let's see. So it's just not quite the sharpness. We we'll go to Apple's website on both. Uh oh. Wow, guys, I actually messed up on the iPhone, and the iPhone still loads quicker. Yes, this is loading the Apple Touch, so it's different, but guys, the iPhone website's actually bigger, so wow. You can mess up apparently on the iPhone 4 and still catch up to your buddies running on the Apple Touch 2G. Let's just open up some apps now. Make this fair, guys. We'll quit Safari on both in the background. Okay. We're just going to go over my games folders on both of them. And we're going to see which games I have in common between the two devices. So let's see. Uh, since we did it last time, guys, we'll open up Ferrari GT on both devices. Uh oh. You can see I hit the iPhone 4 one late and it, it was just barely behind it. And we're going to hit both devices. See, this is just about done. This is just getting it. So you can be starting a race right here. No. I start the race right there. And yes, it could be some of this is the signs aren't popping up. But you can see both devices are loading. This one's ready to go. that really so let's see see you guys so here's the really big difference between yeah that's really the speed difference between the two of them I'm not gonna bother uh, quitting out of those completely let's just go to one uh, we'll go to an app let's see what app should I pick go with app utilities uh oh you saw the delay on how much later I hit that and it still prevails 
guys this really it shows you how much faster the iPhone 4 is than any of its other siblings whether it be against the iPhone 2G yes guys this is it in case 2G um, you can see it's a 2G because of the recessed headphone jack and the silver and the black button so iPhone 2G um, really you can see how much faster the iPhone 4 is than this or this and guys the reason I compared this instead of just leaving it at that is the iPod Touch 2G was actually uh, made faster by Apple than any of the siblings before it because uh, of gaming they increased the speed on it but it, this truly shows you how much faster the iPhone 4 truly is guys for any other comparisons or head to heads you want to see whether it be this against the MacBook Pro um, let me know in the comments below beta testers I will have the beta ready I think by tomorrow or not I'm not sure yet I will email you guys all with uh, private links as for um, some of you guys who haven't made it in I do apologize I am changing the number to only one device uh, of each type any iPhone 2G owners and iPod Touch 1 or any iPod, iPhone 2G owners I would be more than happy to have uh, another one of you guys as I only have one right now and that's mine involved in the program so if I can get one more of you guys into it um, iPad owners your beta might take a little bit longer I'm working on as fast as I can as I forgot the iPad has a different size UI images and I only have the UI images for the 4.0 off the iPod touch obviously um, so that will take a little bit longer to work on and this one you guys is really good at like Photoshop or something wants to help me with that I will be working as diligently actually I don't even know if that's the word as quickly as I can for that um, but don't forget to like this video guys for more head-to-head -head comparisons I will actually probably do an iPhone 4 against MacBook Pro um, comparison to show you guys the speed of it till then guys this is Matt from Ultimate City Source don't forget to like this video for more videos like this comment and subscribe see you guys